Hey everyone, Karnak here, Star Wars Armada Explained. We're going to look at the Empire title Sovereign for the Imperial Star Destroyer. So Sovereign is a unique title. If you look there in front of its name, you'll see a dot or bullet point signifies it is unique. You can only have one of them in your fleet. How do you know equips to a Star Destroyer? There's one in the picture. Bottom left hand corner of the card that will show the Star Destroyer icon. Faction specific for the Empire only. You can see that on the right hand corner next to the point cost, which is four. So pretty cheap title. Uh, at the start of the ship phase, you may exhaust this card to discard one command token from up to three friendly ships at distance one to five. If you do, each of those ships may gain one command token of any type. So this title is very straightforward. So at the start of the ship phase, so this is after you've set your command dials, your command dials are all done, you can do this at the start of any round, because it's an exhaustible card, so it unexhausts at the start of the ship phase. Uh, or in the status phase, it unexhausts if we want to go in the next round. But anyway, get into it. So we'll say, for example, these Star Destroyers, they all have navigation tokens on them already. Maybe it's the second round, you took navigation token all your Star Destroyers, but uh-oh, maybe they're getting bombed by some squadrons. Uh, or something else has happened, and maybe they need, uh, two of them need an engineering token instead of a navigate token. And he, what, this other Star Destroyer here on the right, maybe he wants to trigger a fleet command, and he needs a concentrate fire token to trigger intensify firepower. Now, since this is at the start of the ship phase, which is the same timing, for example, as a fleet command, you could use this card to discard a token that is not useful to you, and then as it says there, you gain a token of any type. So let's walk through it. We'll say these two Star Destroyers here on the left need Engineering, and the one on the right needs Concentrate Fire. So you uh, you see there, they've already got the Navigation tokens on them. So you would so you would take those ships on the table. You'd say, you know what, I'm, I'm ditching, or I'm exhausting this card. I am ditching the Navigation tokens on both of these ships. Uh, I'm going to gain Repair tokens on both of these ships instead. And on this third ship here, discarding that navigation token to gain a concentrate fire token. And then again, if you have fleet commands, uh, you could at this time then choose to resolve in that order, you know, doing sovereign and then spending the to the new token you got on a fleet command. So where is sovereign? And that is sovereign. There's no other crazy jank going on. There's no other crazy things or anything else like that. It's very straightforward. You exhaust the card. Three up to three ships, you can either do one, two, or three. Yeah, they can discard a command token of any type. If you do, each of those ships may now gain one command token of any type. So they have to have a command token to start with. One of them just can't discard one, and the other ones get like free tokens. That's not how it works. They have to have a command token already. You just discard that command token, and then you get a new command token. And you can even get a new command token of the same type if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you could. So where is the most benefit of something like this? Tarkin. Uh, it's Tarkin's flagship in the Star Wars Rebels TV show. Um, so it makes it so that if you do Tarkin some tokens out, because remember with Tarkin, it's one token for, for all the ships. It's the same one. There's no changing. Well, this allows you to kind of fix that. It allows you to tailor some of those tokens to some of your ships, as long as you are in range. Again, the the distance is one to five. So you have to at least be touching, you know, from plastic to plastic to the other car the other ships that you're trying to exchange tokens with. Again, you're not measuring from cardboard to cardboard. You're not measuring from the shield dials of the frames. Those aren't counted. You're measuring from the physical plastic to the physical plastic. Okay. So that's sovereign. There's no other, as I said, crazy jank or anything like that. Um you could see this with also in Thrawn fleets if you for example, double double dial to navigate, and you've got a navigation token. Like I said, maybe you need to turn that into something else. The, so Sovereign just gives you some minor flexibility, and exchanging tokens that aren't as useful for potentially tokens that will be more useful. Uh, or again, in terms of like, uh, if you need to set up fleet commands, you know, and you couldn't take the concentrate fire token for whatever reason, and you spent it on something else, but you have another token, you can ditch that and then get what you want. So it just provides flexibility. In 400 point games, you really don't see this title a whole lot because, you know, whenever you're gaining tokens, you pretty much know the tokens you're going to get for your fleet. This is more useful 
in higher point games where you need more of that flexibility. Not saying that there isn't a place for it in 400 points. It's just that, you know, you, if you don't already have a plan for what tokens you're needing specifically for each round, you may want to rethink your list building. Um, but again, sometimes you, maybe you don't have that option and you want the flexibility that Sovereign can bring. Or if you're not being competitive and you just want to do it for fun, um, Sovereign with Arcadins that want to engine tech all the time, that's great because that way they can concentrate fire and then they can still get navigation tokens or otherwise somehow, you know, if you are changing tokens around. It, I'm just saying is, you know, it has uses, especially if you want to take time to dig and find a way to make this title work. It's just that, again, it, is it the most competitive title? It's not the most competitive title, but it's a fun title. But of course, if you feel like I got anything wrong, or if I missed anything, please be sure to point it out. Let me know. Um, I do appreciate you guys' comments and everything else. I do appreciate the feedback I've been getting on my videos, and yeah, I just I'm trying to make sure I'm doing everything I can to keep you guys informed. I appreciate you watching, and hey, I'll catch you next time.